Hey, what's going on there, guys? You've officially arrived at the 420 scene today. We're going to be talking about trikes and trike shot tips. But first, show some love and support by watching the entire video, dropping a like, subscribing, and tapping the post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And also, be sure to join us on Patreon for giveaways, tips, one-on-ones, early access, live streams, a lot of other cool stuff. Link is going to be right down below and at the pinned message at the bottom. Also, before I forget, be sure to check out my music channel called Punk Scene. We do music vlogs, music videos, recording tips and tricks, lots of other cool stuff. We upload every Sunday, 10 a.m. Eastern, so be sure to check that out. I'm going to have a link in the description, and that's also going to be at the pinned message at the bottom. Someone in my Patreon community asked a really good question, one that I don't think was ever asked, and I've never made a video talking about how I make my trike shots as good and as clear and as clean as they are. Hopefully, I can post it on here right away, but if you don't see the trike shot, like, like in the video like right now as we're speaking it's because youtube is weird with certain pictures and you know but i do have them on patreon and discord in the current grow server so be sure to check that out it's probably going to be the first thing one of the first pictures that you see when you go on the current grow server like it's literally called current grow but anyway bada bing bada booch asked beautiful trike pick what do you use to see them so clearly so i'm going to give you guys a little bit of a tip here i don't know if this tip is going to help anybody i don't know if anybody has even thought about doing this but it's really really simple also let me know in the comment section how you like your trikes do you like them cloudy do you like them cloudy with maybe a little bit of amber let me know if you do like amber what percentage of amber you like i really want to know i want to see the entire comment section flooded because i'm really curious what everybody likes because everybody has different preferences about this sort of thing and i know i've talked about trikes before but i've never talked about how my trike shots come out as clearly as possible and you know I was always the one guy that you know I would try to look I would try to look so closely oh don't move don't move don't move oh it's out of focus so frustrating when you're trying to get a good shot and you're like kind of sitting there for like five minutes you still don't even know what you're looking at you know what I'm saying but you don't have to do that there is a better way which I'm going to be showing you right away I don't know if it matters what kind of jeweler's loop you get I have one that's on Vivo Sun I'm going to leave the link in the description below if you guys want to pick up the one that I have, the exact one that I have, but it should come in a package like this. It should look like this. Hopefully it zooms out. Yeah, maybe. Yep, there it is. Take it out of the packaging, right? I'm going to show you guys this tip. Take it out of the packaging. It looks like this. You slide this out, you know, you know, that's how you kind of move it. Now there's going to be a light. There's a light for the smaller lens right here just like that and then there's a light for the bigger lens and then obviously you put it in the middle position it turns it off now i always use the bigger lens for this all right so always use the bigger lens the smaller lens trust me it, it, you're not really going to see anything anyway I, I tried using the smaller lens it never really worked out for me so forget the smaller lens use the bigger lens so what you're going to do is take your phone and Hopefully everybody watching this has like at least a decent phone with a decent camera and I'm not talking about taking pictures Trust me. That's probably terrible. Don't take pictures. Okay with your phone Using this trust me. There's a better way. So what you're gonna want to do is hold on. Let me take the Let me take the casing out of this like the cover. All right, so this is the iPhone 11 it's an older phone so you want to take this and you wanna make sure that you put the bigger lens, not the smaller lens, obviously, because it's small. I don't even think it's gonna fit. Like, you're not gonna get a clear view. And then you wanna put it like this, right? So when you're checking the trikes, you wanna have it set almost like, you know, like that, right? Obviously, but do not click the picture function. You don't wanna take a photo. What you wanna do with this, now I'm showing you guys, make sure that you have the bigger lens don't have it the wrong way make sure the light is facing out because you know obviously that's the front you got to know which is the front and the back right right over your camera lens the big camera lens because i know some of these phones they got like two or three different cameras but you'll be able to know which one it is so you put it over like that right and then you click the video function you start filming a video so let's just say you get a whole minute worth of just trike shots now what you can do is you can pause throughout any time any moment where you can see there's a clear picture and that's what i did with mine so when you have a clear picture 
pause it and then you can kind of, I can't really show you right here, but you can drag your video wherever, whatever section you have a very clear image of whatever it is that you want. Take a picture of it and then you can actually blow it up. And because of how good these phones are, I'm not trying to hype up iPhones or anything like that, but a lot of these newer phones that are out now, you can zoom in and it's not gonna pixelate anything. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's gonna come out really good. So that's what I did. I know to some of you guys, this this might be an easy thing, but I know somebody, I know there's gonna be a whole group of people that are gonna be like, oh wow, I never tried to do the video function for this. I never tried it this way. So I'm telling you, try it my way, okay? You won't regret it. It's probably gonna be the best way. I don't care what apps you guys got out there. I don't care. This is probably gonna be the best way. And you know what? This was about, I think this was like $10. I see people spending like 30, 40, $50 for Jewelers Loop. Guys, you don't even have to do anything like that. Everybody has a phone, right? Everybody's got a cell phone. Pay $10 for something something like this. Like I said, I'm gonna have the description below so you can pick this up and save a couple of bucks if you haven't bought one yet, but you're in the market to buy one of these. So it's a Vivo Sun. I think it's the 30X and 60X. Uh, I guess one is 30X, one 60X, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna post that link for you guys. So $10 and your phone that you probably already have. Also, I wanna give you another tip. Let me turn this light off. I don't want this thing to die on me. So another tip is when you go into the video function, um, let me just show you so you guys know what I'm talking about. I don't know if you'll be able to see this good, but when you turn the camera on on your iPhone, now. I can only speak on an iPhone, all right? You have the video function over here, right? Now when you turn your phone sideways, you're gonna automatically have a setting which says 30 and HD. That's 30 frames a second, and your HD is, you know, your resolution quality. So what you wanna do is you wanna change HD to 4K, and you wanna change the 30 frames per second to 60 frames per second. I don't know if you guys can see it over here, but what you want is 4K and 60 frames a second. Now the reason you want 4K and 60 frames a second is you want the best possible quality, especially something like this that's really detail oriented. So that way you have the clearest picture. You're gonna know when you should be harvesting, whether you should be waiting. You know, you could really check out those trikes. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to give you guys that bit of a tip on your trike shots because I feel like it's super important. These are one of the last steps before you're completely done with your run and you don't wanna make any mistakes. You don't wanna leave any stone unturned. So I wanted to share that little tip and also bada bing bada booch, thank you for that. That's a really funny name by the way. Without you even asking this question, I probably wouldn't even make a video on this. So guys, if you have any questions, maybe you want a video idea, make sure you leave it in the comments below. Leave it on Discord, on Patreon because I do look at the comments on Patreon and Discord Discord especially, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully I was able to help some of you guys out, maybe give you guys a little bit of a tip on, you know, trike shots. Maybe I helped somebody that didn't even think of using the video function. Also make sure it's at 4K at 60 frames. That's super important. That's the first thing I do right before I hit record, all right guys? So hopefully I was able to help you guys out. I know some of you guys are looking for the Girl Scout cookies and the Gorilla Glue Harvest video. That's going to be coming out on my birthday, believe it or not, which is gonna be October 9th. That will be on a Sunday. We were originally scheduled it for October 2nd. I came out with a community post. It's not gonna be on the second. I jumped the gun a little bit too much, you know what I mean? I was really, I was really anxious to try to get this video out to you on the second, but it's actually gonna be on the 9th, so be sure to look out for that. I just didn't want you guys thinking, oh, what's going on here? No harvest video, what's the deal here, bruh? So that's what's gonna be going on, you know what I'm saying? So before we close off today's video, I wanna thank everyone on screen who's been supporting us on Patreon. I really appreciate the love and support. So to everybody else, Else, make sure you drop that fat thumbs up, drop that fat like, and subscribe for more content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. And as always, stay safe. Peace.